Hi, I'm Courtney from Skycom Solutions, and today we're going to go over creating free email signatures in Microsoft's Outlook app. We're going to be adding photos, linking your website, and even linking your social profiles. So let's get started. So to create a signature in Outlook, you're going to go to New Email. And under signatures, you're going to have a drop down menu. Up here, it's going to show you already created signatures. I haven't created any, so there's none there. Um, and then this is where you add them in. So let's click on that. And this is what it's going to look like. Um, if you have more email accounts set up to this, you will be able to choose which one you want. I only have mine. And we're going to go here to create our new signature. So this is going to be my work email signature. So now that I've created it, I just go in here and I'll put in my information. All right, now that my information is there, here's a few things we can do with it. So I want my name to stand out. You'll have all different fonts to choose from. We use Quicksand. And I'm going to make it pretty big so people know who they're talking to. And in this section here, this is where you can choose the colors. One of our colors is blue, so I'm going to go with a blue signature. Here's your alignments, just like you would see in a lot of other Microsoft applications like Word and all that. Here's a business card option. Um, I don't have any information for it to use, but if you did, you'd be able to create um, a business card. It would take all your information, like your name, email, phone number, look, um, address, anything that you have with it. You could create a business card. It would create a picture and add it to your signature. I don't suggest doing that because the picture, you aren't able to hyperlink anything. So I would just suggest not doing that. Here you can insert pictures, and this is where you hyperlink things. So um, those are those options there. Now that we have a pretty basic signature, we're going to want to assign it to our messages. So up here, you can see new messages. I have it to none, but we're going to put my work email. So every time I send a new message, this signature is popping up. And now they also give you replies and forwards. Um, this is where you could create something that maybe is not as big. It's a different signature that if you're going through big email threads, it's not taking up a lot of space. That's where you would set this one here. Um, I don't think this one is obnoxious, so I'm going to set it up as well. So I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see, nothing has happened, but do not worry. Um, all you have to do is exit out of this message, hit new message, and ah, there, my signature pops up. Now, this is a pretty basic signature. Maybe I want to add a picture of myself. Um, I want to add social profiles. I want to link our website here. I'm going to show you how to do that. Creating a more dynamic signature, um, I would suggest not doing it in the little signature pop-up they have here. It just limits, it doesn't have as many tools as you would like. So one thing you can do is actually create your email signature right in the email body here. So I'm going to take this information and I'm going to cut it, so control X. I'm going to go to insert and we're going to create a table with two sections. So I'm going to put my photo here, but first let me copy over my name. I want that to go up a bit. And now maybe I want to add a photo here. So I'm going to go back to insert and I'm going to go pictures, this device. Ah, there's my employee photo. Um, you can resize this however you like. I want to make it a bit smaller just because you don't need your email signature to be huge. I think that's a good size. As you can see, we got a lot of space here. Um, if you just ho hover over this line here, you can change it. So that's what I'm going to do. And now we got a pretty nice looking signature. I have my profile here. 
You can see my name, what I am, who I work for, but we have this outline box that we don't want. So to get rid of these lines, you're gonna click on them to highlight it, go to um, format text, and just down here in this little box, hit the drop down menu. It'll give you a bunch of options, but we want no border. So let's go with that. And there we go, it got rid of our border. Now, maybe I wanna spice up this email signature a little more by adding um, my social profiles. So I'm gonna just enter down below, go back to insert. We're gonna add our LinkedIn, make it a bit smaller, just like that. So now that I got the social profiles I want to link, I'm gonna take this whole signature, we're gonna cut it, so Control X, going to go to signature, and we wanna edit it. So I'm in my work one. We can just delete that, and then paste our new and improved signature. So now that my new and improved signature is in here, I'm gonna hyperlink my social profiles, so I'm gonna click on my LinkedIn, and then you're gonna go over to this hyperlink option, and right down here, that there's a bunch of different things you can do, but since we're linking a web page, you wanna be on this. Just here, paste your link, hit okay. And now that link is linked to this photo. So we're gonna hit okay. We're gonna add our signature here. And now, as you can see, when I hover over it, it has our link. So you can do that to all the photos on here, but I'm also gonna show you that you can hyperlink your website here. So ours is www.skyconf.ca. And now you can see it has the hyperlink. So there you have it. That's our basic introduction on creating signatures in Microsoft's Outlook. This is a great tool to use if you just wanna make your emails look more professional and have a sign off. Um, you have complete creative control over it. It gives you a lot of options and it's pretty easy to use. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If you wanna watch more content like this, you can click here. And thank you for watching.